Have you ever walked up to your 3D printer and as your hand approached the machine, felt a static spark jump onto the metal frame? Or have you ever taken a jumper off and heard the static crackle as you tear apart the bond between your undershirt and a woolen garment? These are examples of electrostatic discharge, which is a natural part of everyday life. Static is generated when electrons are transferred between two materials through contact and separation. Simply walking around is enough movement to generate a static buildup, and while these shocks are mostly harmless to us, they can be damaging to your electronics, because while they are low in current, they're extremely high in voltage and have been measured at over 25,000 volts. If one of these static shocks finds its way onto a PCB board, it can fry the delicate components, rendering it useless or unfixable. This is why we use ESD safe materials when producing and handling electronic systems as it offers a dissipative pathway for electrostatic charges to flow through. Fibron 612 ESD is compounded with carbon nanotubes, which is a conductive element that allows electricity to pass through 3D printed parts. This means the material is actually slightly conductive and a simple demonstration of the ESD ability is to use this little 3D printed finger to operate a touch screen, which is not possible with regular filament. If we dive inside a Fibron 612 ESD 3D printed part, we can see the carbon nanotubes woven through the nylon matrix. It's inside these carbon nanotubes where electricity can flow, safely dissipating static shocks into the material and away from your electronics. When it comes to printing 612 ESD, hotter is better. In our surface resistivity tests, we print samples at four temperatures ranging from 280 to 320 degrees C. We also run the test at three different angles, ranging from a sample printed flat on the bed, so we can measure the top surface layers at 45 degrees and then printed upright at 90 degrees. We do this as the carbon nanotubes tend to align parallel with the layers when they're extruded through the nozzle. This results in slightly less resistivity on samples printed upright, so the printing orientation does influence the surface resistance. However, in all cases, the hotter the printing temp, the better the results. So depending on how intricate your designs are, and if you can get away with it, I would crank the printing temp to the hotter side of the range for better results. In PCB manufacturing, solvents used during circuit population need to be baked off at elevated temperatures to remove all residue. Fibron 612 ESD offers a HDT of 157, which means custom jigs and fixtures can go straight into the oven without warping or deformation when baking off solvents during the production process. The other great advantage of having 612 as the base polymer is the mechanical strength inherent to the material. This allows your jigs and fixtures to last more cycles and operate in more demanding environments. Compared to PTG EST, 612 offers more performance in tensile strength, stiffness and heat resistance, which allows it to be used in more practical electronic applications such as this high amp XT90 terminal connector or electronic housings for RC circuitry that are likely to encounter stress or impacts. Another simple demonstration we can do with these multicolored polystyrene balls and two 3D printed parts. First, we'll do the PLA silk. We'll rub it with this piece of wool to induce a static charge. And when we dip it into the polystyrene balls, we can see that many are held on there by the static bond uh, I've just induced with the piece of wool. If we do the same thing again with the Fibron 612 ESD part, give that a good rub, take that one out. We'll rub this around again, and no balls are attracted as static charge is being absorbed by the material itself. So none of the polystyrene balls are sticking like we see on the PLA silk. 612 ESD also works beautifully with poly support for PA12, which is our breakaway support material for long chain nylons. In this print, I've used just a couple interface layers, which allows support to be removed easily by hand, leaving a very tidy surface. From assembly trays to part handling systems, 612 ESD allows engineers and manufacturers to protect their components while streamlining their production process with precision fit 3D printed parts. Why compromise on material performance? Get the static safety you need and the durability you expect in one filament. 
612 ESD, a new standard in ESD 3D printing.